In geometry, the spiral of Theodorus is a spiral composed of contiguous right triangles. It was first constructed by Theodorus of Cyrene. Construction The spiral is started with an isosceles right triangle, with each leg having unit length. Another right triangle is formed. An automedian right triangle with one leg being the hypotenuse of the prior triangle and the other leg having length of 1, the length of the hypotenuse of this second triangle is square root 3. The process then repeats. The ith triangle in the sequence is a right triangle with side length square root i and 1, and with hypotenuse square root i plus 1. For example, the 16th triangle has sides measuring 4, 1 and hypotenuse of square root 17. History and uses Although all of Theodorus' work has been lost, Plato put Theodorus into his dialogue Theaetetus, which tells of his work. It is assumed that Theodorus had proved that all of the square roots of non-square integers from 3 to 17 are irrational by means of the spiral of Theodorus. Plato does not attribute the irrationality of the square root of 2 to Theodorus because it was well known before him. Theodorus and Theaetetus split the rational numbers and irrational numbers into different categories. Hypotenuse Each of the triangle's hypotenuses high gives the square root of the corresponding natural number, with h1 equals square root 2. Plato, tutored by Theodorus, questioned why Theodorus stopped at square root 17. The reason is commonly believed to be that the square root 17 hypotenuse belongs to the last triangle that does not overlap the figure. Overlapping in 1958, Eric Tufel proved that no two hypotenuses will ever coincide, regardless of how far the spiral is continued. Also, if the sides of unit length are extended into a line, they will never pass through any of the other vertices of the total figure. Extension Theodorus stopped his spiral at the triangle with a hypotenuse of square root 17. If the spiral is continued to infinitely many triangles, many more interesting characteristics are found. Growth rate angle If phi n is the angle of the nth triangle, then, therefore, the growth of the angle phi n of the next triangle n is. The sum of the angles of the first k triangles is called the total angle phi for the kth triangle. It grows proportionally to the square root of k, with a bounded correction term c2, where radius the growth of the radius of the spiral at a certain triangle n is Archimedean spiral. The spiral of Theodorus approximates the Archimedean spiral. Just as the distance between two windings of the Archimedean spiral equals mathematical constant pi, as the number of spins of the spiral of Theodorus approaches infinity, the distance between two consecutive windings quickly approaches pi. The following is a table showing of two windings of the spiral approaching pi. As shown, after only the fifth winding, the distance is a 99.97% accurate approximation to pi. Continuous curve. The question of how to interpolate the discrete points of the spiral of Theodorus by a smooth curve was proposed and answered in by analogy with Euler's formula for the gamma function as an interpolant for the factorial function. Davis found the function which was further studied by his student leader and by Isler. An axiomatic characterization of this function is given in as the unique function that satisfies the functional equation the initial condition and monotonicity in both argument and modulus. Alternative conditions and weakenings are also studied therein. An alternative derivation is given in. Some have suggested a different interpolant which connects the spiral and an alternative inner spiral, as in 